Hi, I am Dr. Venkatesh. I am a consultant neonatologist. Today I am discussing about an important topic, the porencephalic cyst, an event following the preterm brain injury. We are a 28-week preterm neonate born requiring resuscitation at birth, transported to newborn intensive care unit, connected to the ventilator and he required surfactant administration. On day 3 of life, he became unwell, looking sick and pale. Immediately the ultrasound cream was performed demonstrating grade 4 intraventricular hemorrhage bilaterally, more predominantly seen on the left side. The serial ultrasounds were, ultrasounds were performed to look for a complication of this grade 4 intraventricular hemorrhage also called as preventricular hemorrhagic infarction. On day 14 of life you could demonstrate the increase in the ventricular size with a cyst communicating with the lateral ventricle and the cyst was anechoic borne by white matter filled with cerebrospinal fluid. The diagnosis was made the poor encephalic cyst with hydrocephalus. We could demonstrate poor encephalic cyst both on coronal and sagittal view of the brain. My friends, performing the serial ultrasound in the event of hyperechogenic shadow is very important because sometimes you will find those porencephalic cysts which do not communicate to the lateral ventricle, they look like when uh, white matter cysticulation. So this serial ultrasound performance will definitely help in differentiating the porencephalic cyst which do not communicate with the lateral ventricle from the white matter cysticulation. Sometimes you see in some neonates the hyperechogenic shadows on day one of life indicating the intrauterine ischemia and immediately all these hyperechogenic shadows they become more hyperlucent as the day progresses and you see a lot of cystic lesions in those hyperechogenic area. They either communicate with their ventricle system or with the suburb space. Thank you so much.